Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. It's the 22nd of December. I can't blame and believe it. Um, I'm just on my way to work. I've made a little pit stop because it's a three show day today and I really wanted to get some coffee. Um, I wanted to get a Starbucks. So I've come to the lovely, probably can't see it in the background there, um, little drive through. Well, it's not a drive through, is it? I don't know. Um, there's like a place near my house that has loads of all my favorite restaurants. Um, so I'm gonna go in and get a Starbucks, see if they've got anything for my breakfast. Um, and just load up on food really because I am really hungry today and it's going to be a long day so I need to stock up. Starting to feel a little bit more festive. I'm going to put Christmas songs on on my way into work and see if that helps. And I'm going to go in now and get my soy ice white mocha with less ice. In case anyone wondered what I have. <laughs> because we have three today um so we've got like a kind of mini break in between the first two i'm sat here icing my foot because i've got a bit of a sore foot um and i've got a little friend <laughs> so i don't think i'll be moving for this whole time you're right there i'm numb you okay she's comfy <laughs> um i'm now trying to get my video uploaded it's being very irritating um so i'm gonna sit have a little cuddle and look how cute she is. Oh no, you're so cute. We're just having a nice little time. Everyone's gone to get food. And I'm just going to sit here, cuddle, um num, and try and sort this darn video out. <laughs> Literally, the second I moved my laptop, look what's happened. <laughs> she was like, right, enough of that. <laughs> My spot. Ooh, is that you? Um, <laughs> at that moment, Lou's like, nah. at the door, but Scrooge's nephew Fred is now. Yeah, only living good film. Just trying to get festive. What you got there, Sarah? Hi. <laughs> Just keeping it festive with my roast chicken salad. Oh, yeah. Um, Ooh, we've got that onion dressing and it's really good it is good that sweet onion like and i got i doubled my meat for a pound oh oh i'm subway oh oh she's down again she's gone down over it there was lots of um <laughs> children that had just been to the show oh really mm -hmm. Did they recognize you yeah, and one man came up to me and ordered and he needs to watch the show last night. Oh, did he? He was one of the Stooges. Oh, Andy. We love the Stooges. Good old Andy. Fade to black. <laughs> Group outing to m &S. Oh, God. Yay! <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Go! 
we're all walking back to the theatre together now. Having one of those moments where I'm like, oh, ain't everyone nice? Look at them, look at them. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Do you think we're going to go out on Boxing Day? Where? When? Out, out in the town. Oh, maybe. Is that, is that, what, is that what we do? <laughs> well, well, out on the box. When in Wakefield, eh? When in Wakefield. Oh, she's jogging. <laughs> Sarah and Georgie are crazy in oh, We're crazy in Wakefield. We're crazy in Wakefield. <laughs> I felt like when in I Wakefield. looked like I was doing like one of those um you know like reporting things like out in Wakefield. Walking right. through Wakefield, can't you just there's, smell the excitement for Christmas? Sight, Everyone's sights. excited. The sights, the sounds, the lights. I feel like we're about to like like follow a car chase or something. Okay, like. so we've tracked down the cast of Cinderella. They are And we out. see a rare cast of Cinderella. Very, very very exciting. Left. We're gonna go to step. And, uh, Walk up to them now. One of them approached by us. a red Act natural. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, you alright? Yes. Hi. Evening. We uh, yeah. noticed that you were in Cinderella. Oh, oh, so he's just. We just thought we might follow you. You were oh. really good. Thanks, guys. Really good, um, really good performance. It was. It was. It was lovely. Strong what, performance. What's she doing? Zoom in. Zoom in. Expose. Exposed. Prince Charming shops at Savers. Oh, where's he gone? Look, there he is. There he Oops. is. What's he doing? What's he thinking? Who knows? He's been served. He's been served. <laughs> Here, you can get a view. What's he doing? <laughs> Subtle of them. What's he doing? Flirting. How dare you? We're married. You wench. <laughs> Stop flirting with the salespeople. Ooh. Oh, he looks really pleased with himself. My card, I think. Prince Charming exposed. Well, we now know where Prince Charming buys his hairspray. Well, now we know. If you He's guys want to look like Prince natural, like natural, like natural. And that's why the... Jordan, Jordan! What are you wearing, Jordan? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I love you! <laughs> Can I have your number? <laughs> And he's still running. Hello, it's us. Hello. We are, we're all just in the boys' dressing room. I'm not allowed to see you because Luke is wrapping my present. Oh yeah. We're just doing a spot of wrapping. Well, uh, this is the first. Okay, bear in mind it's the 22nd. It's the first Christmas present I've wrapped. It's my secret. Angry and young. But <laughs> Luke's on wrapping. Luke has progressed immensely in the past 10 minutes. Do you want to show him? Very well. Should we go? For, we'll go from bad go to from the start. Good. Whoa, that's uh, okay. <laughs> One questionable. The cracker. Good try. It's a cracker. <laughs> okay. Then we, uh, then we uh, improve vastly with a bit of tutelage. But look, he's gone onto ribbon now. I mean, if that's not professional, I don't know what is. Yeah. And then, frankly. And then third, I use my. Oh yeah, he's gone very Joe Malone on this one. Yeah. So, yeah. If you want um, a how to wrap video, don't ask me. Don't ask me. <laughs> so we're gonna do a very chill Q and A. I don't even know if I'm in. Oh hello. Do you want to come in? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're going to do a very chill Q&A whilst wrapping ensues. Um, because I asked on Instagram and I also asked on YouTube if anyone had any questions. What are you doing yours, sir? And I've had quite so an like overwhelming family. response. So we're going to answer a few of them. We won't be able to answer them all because we've got the show in half an hour. But we'll do our best to answer as many as possible. So let me just get them up. Feel free to chip in whenever. Okay. <laughs> First question <laughs> is, did any of you go to drama school slash university? If so, where and how was your experience? Arts Head. Arts Head? They're in the same year? We were in the same year, me and Lisa. Talia Conti, Sarah. Uh, 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 and I did a uh, musical yeah. theatre bachelor in America at the University of Central Florida! Woo! How were your guys' experience <laughs> of drama school? <laughs> I actually, I, I did really love it. Yeah. I thought, like, it's kind of what you expect drama school to be. It's hard. It's hard. Um, but, and I feel like a lot of, like, yeah. each year was different for, um, was hard for very yeah. different reasons. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, so I'd say... Georgie, don't look. You've got your arms. Oh! You, um, the university system is, like, set up in a different way, so it's like, you've got, um, you have four years of studying what you are, well, we have to audition, so, like, there was, like, 10 to 12 people in our class, and there were thousands of people that auditioned for that spot. Wow. And um, so like you already you already have to, they judge you on technique before you even get into the uni. So like you have to, like in the States, you, when you're, you know you want to do it. Cause you don't, we don't go to school till 18. Hello. Hi Joe. Hey. Hi Joe. Hey Joe. So ours was also 18, but it um, like when you audition, 
So because it's such a kind of a they're coveted places, you you have to be like already your I'm technique already has to be at a certain level. Yeah. So for us, the point of uni was more about like taking the technique that you already have and becoming <coughs> freer with it. Mm -hmm. And there were really like I'll never forget we had. Um, oh, what I was gonna say is that we, like, we would have 20 hours a week of of like our like yeah. performance stuff, dancing, yeah. singing, acting, all that. Okay. And then you also had to study, you know, science and um, history and English and at the same time. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 yeah, so it's like a full time, it's like 40 hours of school. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cinderella Company. Musical theatre character you're most like? Ooh. Sarah, you start. Who do you think you're most like in musical theatre? Character. Well, I've been told by others that I'm a bit like Lauren in Kinky Boots. Yeah, yeah I see that. Oh, yeah. I definitely see that. Luke? Uh, I don't know. I th I've been <laughs> thinking about this and I think um, Hans... No, no, no! What's the other one called? Oh, oh uh, Chris Christoph. 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 You're yeah. literally Christoph. Christoph. I'll take that. Christoph. Christoph. 2020. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking um, Anastasia. <laughs> Good the choice. Nice red haired going on. Yeah, yeah I like it. I like Journey it. To past. Journey to the past. Be around my idea. I think it would be a combination of Sally Balls because I'm quite. I love that cabaret. Like, not to play, but just because I am like American, like in a That's cabaret a life. Go for yeah. it. And Velma. You're both Chanel. Velma yeah. from Chicago. Yeah. 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 Hello. Not that I've ever murdered anyone. I bet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just as a disclaimer. <laughs> this was a hard question for me because I don't really know, but you said to, you said to me I said Dimitri. Sorry, what's Dimitri from oh. Anastasia. Yeah. Oh, which I will take. Oh, Dimitri. <laughs> oh, hello. Or what? Aaron from Mean Girls. Stop it. Yeah. You're actually saying all my favourite parts. Am I really? Oh. Yeah, you are. <laughs> um, ah. Yeah, I think, I think either yeah. of those. Yeah, those would be cool. Yeah. 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 And then Georgie. Oh, yeah. Sure, where the present this is with the I really don't know. I would say. Mm, I would like to say Anastasia. Mm -hmm. Or Anna from Frozen. She's oh, a bit mess. She's a bit mess. She's a bit awkward. <laughs> <laughs> right, moving on. How many weeks prior to the show do you rehearse? We did like three uh, weeks rehearsal. Yeah. 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 But that's actually. A lot. That's a lot. That's for a lot panto. for panto. Usually you get like yeah, six, my sister's boyfriend's days. was yeah, like five days. How yeah. crazy is that? I would not do that. That, that would have been that absolutely crazy. crazy. Yeah. I like this question. If you could play someone else's role in panto, who would it be and why? Mm. I would. I think without no. Georgie, yeah? look at you. Luke, stop it. <laughs> look at that. He's only got to wrap it really well. Oh, it was all so me. It was all me. Is that Georgie? It? It's all me. What? Is that Georgie? It's present. No. Oh, okay. Gorgeous back. Without the backflip, uh, I think Dave. I'd play Dandina just because it seems like a really, really fun oh, part. Yeah. Oh, there's loads of different parts. I'd play yours fucking now. I'm just joking. Just, <laughs> just so <laughs> real. Yeah, but I think I'd probably go Dandina. Um, for a bit of a diff, be a bit tomboy, you know? I'd, I'd go for Grand Labour. Just Brilliant. because I think being evil is the best. It's, it's, it's so, so much fun! fun. Yeah, think, yeah. Um, even though like they do you, but it's like fun doing. Yeah, it's like, and they okay, do love. Um, they love you, but yeah. they hate you. Yeah, yeah. just like after the song, they applaud and then they go, no boo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would play the prince what because I love how he's like. What's this if you could pick, well, I would play him a bit different than Jordan. I would make him really misogynistic. I think it would be Ooh. like, Ooh. I would be like, I'm the prince. Like, Bow to me. Yeah. Bow to me. Marry me. Marry me. <laughs> That's kind of what happens. Yeah, you are, Jordan, you are kind of like, whoever's foot fits this slipper will be my bride. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit like, 2018? Hey, There's well, so many opportunities. Well, I don't want to be your bride. Be bride. <laughs> will be my bride if she wants to be. <laughs> Sam. Yes. Who would you play? Um, who would you play? Either Dandina. Just because I get to run around being a crazy person for most of the show. Or, obviously, I love a bit of Grizz. Ladies and gentlemen, Cinderella Grizz. Grizz. Yeah. Grizz. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Uh, Luke? Yeah, I, be, I think I'd be the prince just because that's fun. That's a bit Yeah. Cool. I would like to be the Countess Grimalova. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like to make the little children cry. <laughs> <laughs> Next question Have any of you worked together before? 
Wow. Yes. We have. Well, Luke and Jordan were in the same year at so college. We know each other. How cool. Very so well. They, they're good we, were the, we were in the same class for all three years. Wow. That's so cool. It just really, yeah, actually, it didn't and happen that much. And we still like each other. And we still like each <laughs> other. As soon as I found out he got this job, I was like, no, I can't take it. I can't. <laughs> Me and Luke can't did Oklahoma at the exactly. Proms together. Yeah. So, if you watch, I think it was like the first video I ever, ever did. Go back and watch it. It's, it's probably terrible. I can't even remember. Um, but yeah, that show, Oklahoma at the Royal Art Hall. Luke was in that. So we did that together, which is pretty cool. Um, but I've never worked with anyone, anyone else before. But I, I hope to again. Yeah. They're all lovely. Oh, 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 oh. And what to do if people are saying you're not good enough? Don't listen to him. Oh my. Don't well, listen to him. I'll tell you. I'm wrong. That experience happened to me 15 years when I was living in Holland. Really? Mm -hmm. I remember you saying, yeah, yeah. It was the hardest thing. I think that's the thing that like makes you a stronger person and brings out your strength because Definitely. if you really, really love it, you just fight through and you like want to. You have an extra drive to like prove yeah. wrong. Don't you think? Yeah. And or you quit. Or you quit. Or you, which we're not, I'm not advising, I'm not advising like to go find your dreams, but it's, it's like the deciding factor, yeah. right? And it's an opinion, it's someone's opinion. And you know mm -hmm. what they say about opinions? Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's, Everyone's got, got one. one. <laughs> oh, I like that. Um, you can't let other people dictate your life. Because no. everyone's worried about themselves anyway, that's what I always say. Like, no one's thinking about you as much as you think they are. Everyone's just worried about themselves. So, yeah, yeah just live your life. and and go for what you want, I say. What's the best thing about doing Panto? Brackets, came to see the show recently and I loved it, awesome job. Yeah! Yay! Yay! My favorite thing, apart from like just having fun backstage, because we, we had a lot of fun, um, is seeing how oh, yeah. much the kids love it and what they take from it, because like this might be some of their first experiences of theater and it's like you're kind of introducing the next generation to theatre and some of them might end up wanting to go into theatre oh because God, of us right, right, right. and I just think that's really yeah. nice. They get so invested as well Yeah, they give you such a good energy and to them it's so magical when when it's happening, when something's happening to one of the characters, it's, it's real. Yeah. yeah. As, a, as an adult, you kind of, you get a bit worldly and a bit cynical. Yeah. But that is yeah. just like pure, they're just so in it. They're like, so they are so pure in. investment is so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else? Um, the, we just met a guy called Sorry, Evan no. in, um, oh, yeah. in, the, yeah. in and he was really, really Evan. cute. Like he was beyond so cute. Well, His mum like introduced oh, him guess. to us. Someone's in my He was like in awe, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> and he looked at. What did he say to Luke? Um, yeah, I was, God. Yeah, God. I thought he said God at that. Yeah. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> Someone said, "Is it hard to stay perky and in the Christmas spirit for so long? Do you yes. get tired of it?" Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> no. no. Yes. Me Unless and, you're me and Georgie. <laughs> no, yeah. Me and Georgie, we want more Christmas. We want more spirit. Christmas. We actually got up emotional the other day because we weren't festive enough. So we've combated with we've combated with the uh, festive films. Yeah, we've had like a festive film on every day. I love being festive, and I feel like people think that when you're doing a panto, you feel really festive, but because mm. we're so busy. I don't feel that festive. You lose because you're busy, so busy, like with the, with the job and stuff, which is amazing. Yeah. But then you don't get like you get the. To do you don't stuff. feel the atmosphere yeah, change because yeah, yeah. you're part of the atmosphere. And how do you deal with audition nerves? How do I deal with See, audition nerves? So at the end of uh, in in this year, I struggled. I struggled really bad with audition. Luke, by the way. Yeah, it's me. I'm just getting changed into the time. <laughs> <laughs> I really struggled with. I can actually come to I actually really struggled with audition nerves uh, this year, just in general, and I have no idea why. And like never in like since leaving college have I like actually been like physically like actually shaking outside a room. <gasps> then this year I was. Aww. And why? I don't know. Just I came actually, on. I actually don't know. It, just it can happened. come and go, can't it? But then for some auditions for some auditions I'm fine, but then for other auditions I'm like Nah, I'm not doing that, I can't I can't. And what do you do? I go in and shake. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, listen to this. I think, oh. <laughs> I think it, I don't know about you, but singing in front of a massive group of people, totally fine. But as yeah. soon as there's only like five yeah. people on a board, so much on a, on a, on a I don't know table, why. I really don't know why. And also just to think about like what you're doing as opposed to like get yeah. yourself in the world instead of thinking yeah, yeah. I'm auditioning, I need to be good, I need to be good. Don't yeah. worry about yeah. trying to be what they want you to be. Your only yourself. competition is yourself. Yeah. Because you never know what they're gonna look for, what they're gonna cast. Really they might the part might already be cast and you're just they're just doing it for because they have to. Yeah. Like it's your you're your own competition. Yeah. You never know. You, also I'd say make sure you keep actually doing it because if you're stuck like 
I don't know, if you're working all the time and you're not actually singing, then you're gonna be like out of practice. And then when yeah. you do sing, you're gonna be nervous about singing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll do one last one, and this is a funny one. Favorite on stage mishaps? In, uh, <laughs> in canto or in life? Well, it's always funny when people fall over. Sarah. <laughs> funny you bring this one up today of all days. Funny you should mention that. We had a bit of a tumble twice. I fell over twice in one show oh. today. So first one, there's this bit where I run after the prince with my cushion and my shoe. But just pre before I went on stage, I was trying to take my party hat off from the ball. <laughs> It then got stuck in my mic and I was scared I was going to be like running on with this like party hat dangling from my chin and I was like ah so, someone help me so then um yeah they finally like ripped it off and I ran but then I dropped the cushion as I was running on stage and then full on tripped over the cushion oh, and yeah Dantina. and then there's another moment where I pull a sock off stage and I just walked straight into a flat and then <laughs> Fell and then, then the whole time. when my ankle went over and I just went flat as a pancake. <laughs> like, <laughs> full on face drop. But it's quite good like in panto because we can kind of just like laugh when yeah. things go a little bit awry. Like people say I like funny lines anything. and and the, like the ugly sisters are really good at handling it as well. And it's oh. like lots of mainly, mainly funny things are when like the audience shout out. Yeah. Like someone shouted bored in my song. <laughs> 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 it was a child. It was a child. <laughs> <laughs> bored. I'm not holding it against grown, them. Grown <laughs> yeah, just, like, bored. Get off <laughs> um, right, well, we've had the five now, so we should probably go. But if I have any, if I get any more questions later, maybe we'll like just like do a few more later. Thank you guys for <laughs> for helping me out, for answering some questions, and we'll see you in a bit. Bye. 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 Jordan loves the Greatest Showman so much. Look how happy he is. Look at his little face. Pure joy, right there. Hello, I'm home now. I am the epitome of what's the word unproductive i was like right i'm gonna get home i'm gonna start wrapping be like tidy da, da, da. none of these things have happened this is just a little peep into the tired panto life for you so i am gonna do it all tomorrow morning we don't have a show till two tomorrow which linford is coming to watch with his niece chanel and his dad which i'm really really excited about so i need to get up early tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna do all the things i was meant to do tonight basically i need to wrap every single present every single present. I need to tidy and I need to pack for Christmas. <sighs> so I'm gonna go to bed <laughs> and I will check in with you again tomorrow for the second to last, the penultimate vlogorella. Can you believe it? I was saying that at work today. I cannot believe I've only got, it is two left, isn't it? Because it's the 23rd tomorrow. Yeah, I've got two videos left to film, which I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm looking forward to a bit of a break. But I will be really sad when it's over because I've had so much fun making these videos. Um, so yeah, a bit sad there's only two left. But I hope you enjoyed this one. It was really fun doing a Q&A with everybody. Um, I hope you found it interesting. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you again in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.